It seems like Microsoft just cannot catch a break. And yes, pushback is definitely warranted when they do stupid things like recall. But in this case, Microsoft has a totally free app called PC Manager. And once again, the typical tech geeks are finding things to bitch about. While the usual people are already typing switch to Linux in the comments, let's talk about this app and who is it for? And who is it not for? But first, download the PC Manager from the Microsoft Store by searching for PC Manager and then simply installing it. And now that it's installed, what are we dealing with here? Well, the first thing you'll notice is the amount of memory used and the amount of temporary files you have on your computer. Underneath that, you see a button called Boost. When you press that button, it does a quick system cleanup by deleting the temporary files to get their hard drive space back and then terminating some unused background processes which are just taking up resources in your computer's memory. Now, hold up all you keyboard warriors before you hit the comment saying, yes, but you can do that in different places in Windows. Yes, of course you can. You can go into Windows Start, type Settings, click on Storage Settings, then click on Temporary Files, and then click on Remove Files. You can then close all that down and then right click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Then you go through that list and right click on any apps that you're not using right now and click on end task. And this is going to free up some memory. I would argue that clicking on a single button is just easier for most people and definitely easier if you're not a tech geek and even know where to look for these options. And the same thing goes for a lot of features within PC Manager. Instead of being scattered all over various Windows settings with PC Manager, they're just packaged nicely into one little utility. Okay, little button here, set smart boost settings. You wanna click on that. PC Manager will automatically boost your PC when high usage of RAM or there's more than one gigabyte of temporary files. We wanna enable that. And I also wanna be clear about this whole boosting performance bit. If you have 64 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of free hard drive space, this isn't gonna do much to boost any performance. You're probably not gonna notice any difference anyway. But if your computer is running out of hard drive space or you have eight gigs or 16 gigs of RAM, then claiming back a couple of gigabytes of hard drive space and cleaning out your RAM is gonna make a difference. All right, let's go back to the app and we see this option here, start PC Manager automatically when I sign into Windows. You can choose to enable that or not enable that. That's up to you. I like to have mine enabled. Let's go to the main page. Oh, and look, a message popped up offering us a deep cleanup. So let's click on that. And now it goes through the system and says, look, I've identified these are the files that it can actually be removed safely. It's not gonna impact, it's not gonna uninstall any of the apps. And it gives you an option to contract and expand various features, various applications. You can just go through them. One thing I did notice is certain things just actually have a lot of information, a lot of space taking up on my computer for no reason, like Nvidia. Do I really need 1.3 gigabytes of updated files? These are probably the old files. I can just tick on that and then go through each and every single one of these options and get a whole bunch of space back. Uh, also, just to make sure everyone's on the same page here, you're not actually uninstalling NVIDIA or Slack or any of these applications. You're just getting rid of the files that can be gotten rid of. All right, back to the main page. I wanna click on health check and there's a whole bunch of options that popped up. The important one is here, reset the taskbar. So if you've added any third party extension to redo your taskbar, well, this will reset it back to default. I'm gonna untick that. I want to keep it exactly as it is. And then things like automatically start up these applications. I don't know why that's even here. So I'm just gonna not even deal with that and let's deal with the rest of them. Okay, let's go to the next one, processes. So processes, the same as the task manager, you can end certain processes because they're currently using up your RAM, click on the button, click on end, and then basically it's done. Let's go into startup. These are the applications that automatically start up with your computer starts up. It gives you some suggestions, what can be off, what can be on, but click on storage and things get interesting here. So a couple of things that you can do here. First of all, let's go onto the downloaded files bit. And this basically says to me, hey, I've got 62.6 gigs of files that I've downloaded. That's a lot of files. I can close there and basically get rid of the files that I don't need. Now, another option here is the large files. 
it identifies all the large files here. And of course, you can tick on each one and get rid of them. And yes, you can do the same thing with your Windows File Manager as well. And then the duplicate files, here's where I would be careful because as a photographer or videographer, you may have files that are named exactly the same. Just be careful that you just don't delete stuff you need. All right, storage sense at the bottom. That just opens up your Windows settings to talk about the storage sense. You can enable that, which I normally do. Um, interesting things to change here. Temporary files, I'm going to tick that, but delete files in my recycle bin. No, I'm going to make sure that's never. I'm going to manually control that. And the same thing with files in my downloaded folder. I never want the computer to make a decision for me. I want to remove them myself. Now, under apps, a cool one is the deep uninstall. Now, this seems to do a better job than when you go onto your Windows settings and add or remove programs. So basically, find a program you want to get rid of, click on it, click the trash, and then it uninstalls it. Now, the final thing is tools. There's a whole bunch of tools here, screenshots, screen folder, recorder, notepad, calculator, and there's a whole bunch of Windows tools right here as well. This utility is just a nice, simple addition to Windows for those who are not tech savvy or for those who just want everything in one place instead of popping in and out of 17 different places. I think one of the biggest cons in the tech scene is this blanket solution to a slow computer is buy more RAM. I think that changing your hard drive to at least an SSD or ideally an NVMe drive is going to make far more difference in your performance than just adding more RAM. If you want to see more why I think buying RAM is a con, check this video out here. Also check out this video right here where I show you all about the hard drives. And before you head out, don't forget to give the video a quick thumbs up and I'm going to see you in this video or this video or both. Let's go.